Let's take a look at how to multiply fractions. Multiply, simplify your answer, and write it as a proper fraction or as a whole or mixed number. Okay, we have 3 fourths times 2 thirds. Well, the rule when you're multiplying by a fraction by a fraction is to multiply straight across the top or the numerator, and then multiply the numbers straight across in the denominator or the bottom. Okay, so on the top, when we multiply straight across, 3 times 2 gives us 6. And on the bottom, when we multiply straight across, 4 times 3 gives us 12. So we're left with 6 out of 12. Now remember, we always want to simplify if we can. So 6 goes into both of these numbers. So I can write 6 as 6 times 1, and I can write 12 as 6 times 2, and now we can see I can cancel a factor of 6 on the top with a factor of 6 on the bottom, which means it simplifies or reduces to 1 half. Okay, this time I have 1 fourth times 3 fourths. The rule is to multiply straight across the numerator or top and multiply straight across the denominator or bottom. So on the top of my fraction, 1 times 3 gives me 3. And in the bottom or denominator, 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, and I'm not going to be able to simplify this because the only thing that goes into 3 is 3 and 1, and 3 does not go into 16. So I'm going to leave it as 3 over 16. 3 fourths times 2 fourths. Okay? We're multiplying fractions, so we're going to multiply straight across the top or numerator and straight across the bottom or denominator. So on the top of our fraction, 3 times 2 gives us 6. On the bottom of our fraction, 4 times 4 is 16. Now these are both even numbers, so I can simplify or reduce them because 2 has to go into both. So I can write 6 as 2 times 3 and I can write 16 as 2 times 8. And now we can see we can cancel the factor of 2 on the top and the bottom, and that's going to leave me with 3 eighths. Two-thirds times one-half. Okay, multiply straight across your numerator, and multiply straight across your denominator. So in the numerator or top, 2 times 1 is 2. In the denominator or bottom, 3 times 2 is 6. And these are both even numbers, so 2 goes into both of them. So to simplify my fraction, I'm going to write 2 as 2 times 1, and I'm going to write 6 as 2 times 3. And now I can see I can cancel out a factor of 2 on the top with a factor of 2 on the bottom. So this simplifies or reduces to 1 third. One fourth times 3 fourths. Okay, multiply straight across the top and multiply straight across the bottom. So on the top, 1 times 3 gives me 3. On the bottom, 4 times 4 gives me 16. So this is going to give me 3 out of 16. And I can't simplify that because 3 times 1 is the only thing that goes into 3, and that 3 does not go into 16. So we're going to leave it 3 out of 16. Okay, 2 thirds times 1 third. Let's multiply straight across. In the numerator or the top, 2 times 1 is 2. In the denominator or bottom, 3 times 3 is 9. And I can't simplify this, so I'm going to leave it as 2 over 9. 